Today we're gonna work on how to make a QR or a barcode scanner using Android Studio on Android phone. Like first choose your project, like create an empty activity. Like this and just type it in bar code. Barcode scanner activity. Language is Java and my API is 19. Let's finish it. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time in configuration for that. Just let it be. Okay, once it's finished, you'll be able to see the app and the manifest over here. At first, we have to get a permission from uh, phone or the device that we're gonna use it from like because we're gonna use the camera so right let's get the permission from them and it should be written above the application over here manifest you should be able to see the application over here just put it down and write USC user permission Android name what you can get the permission from a camera and just close it okay and if we want to add some features like for hardware autofocus this is just for features Android name and that will be Android and Android dot hardware dot use the camera dot auto Or something camera auto a u t o f o c u s auto focus and let's close it too. Once it's done, we have to implement some libraries to change the build cradle. Let's go over here and we have to implement two libraries one will be of Google Play service and another will be from the Zing where we're going to use a barcode scanner. Let's paste it over here. These two libraries implementation, I'll put it down over in my comment section and you can use it from there to copy it. Once you have done that, you can just sync it now. It can take 30, like 10 15 seconds. Once you have done that, let's go for a uh, layout section. We're gonna change a small layout, we're gonna make a uh, quick change. Let's work on linear layout. I like to work on the linear layout and if you work on a linear layout Android orientation let's put a start call and Android gravity let's put it on the center once you have done we're gonna see a text view in the center and I like to add two buttons so one button and two buttons I like to add two button. Once you have done that, let's change the name of button. So it will be a scan barcode, and this will be TOAC toast barcode. I want to toast what we just scanned to. So let's make it like that. And let's see. Hello, all. Yep, that's good. That's good. Okay. Let's change the name of it too, okay? Let's give it the ID. Android ID. ID. The text view will be the result text view. PR code. DX. Text view. That will be the barcode text view. And this will be the scan button. Button is scan. And this will be the button to UAST toast. Once you have done that, Let's go to our main activity. Now in our main activity, we have to declare some first. Let's declare public static text view. We 
we join the public static because I want to get the text view into the another activity too like well, I'll show you later text view and let me read you text view result text view one will be that and button B-U-T-T button one will be the scan button another will be Just button. Once we have done that, let's get it by find new result view. Oops, what I put it just now barcode text view. Bar barcode text view and for the scan button will be find viewer id dot 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 id that barcode text view will be button scan that's our button and for toast to us to toast button equals to find viewer id dot id dot potentials okay once we have done that uh, we will send the once we click the scan button we're gonna send it to a different activity but those the different activity need to open the camera right so let's first send it to a different activity my making new activity Scan code is it that will be a scan code activity. Okay, and let's open the unclink listener now. Scan scan button dot set on click listener new view on click listener. What will happen? Now we need to know what will happen when we click the set on click listener. So now we have to send it to a different activity. So let's just start a different activity. Start activity, new intent and get application concept and then we have to send it to scan code. Let's Scan code activity dot C. Thanks. Okay, that's one. Once we have done that, we'll set the tour to the later on, or we can set it right now. But so we can a tour spot to you tour spot and our site and click listener new view set and click list. Now we have to toast to you a toast. And sometimes when if you haven't declared at the first then it gonna make it red make if the toast is not declared over here in the import library this one just type it or if you click the alt and enter on the Mac you'll be able to get it over there so make text and where should we make it in our main activity main activity this uh, what should we get it from this result yes result takes view result takes view and we have to get it to a text get text we don't have to convert to a string right now comma uh, we have to twist it to start sort long plain sort just make it sort so. Okay. Once this has been done, we have to work on the different activity now. Now let's work on a scan code activity. Here we have to remember a small thing. 
we're not gonna open this activity we have to open a camera instead of this activity so we have to get permission of camera for that let's make a request int my permission p e r a m i s s i o n that's from my permission okay and that's to get a permission and once the camera been open we have to open the camera for, for a barcode so we have to change it over here and we have to implement implement chat zxing scan viewer now implemented scan view and you have to request handler too. You're gonna see the red over here is because you haven't made a method to override it. So let's go and make a method over here. In a Mac, you can press Command and O, and oh no, it's not Command. It's Control and O. Sorry, Control and O, and you'll be able to get a method over here just press han dle handle mm. oh, no it's not that one that's this way I'm sorry okay one second whenever you see the red one over here let's go over here in the light bulb and click implement method it's gonna say handle request we have to implement that just press ok ok once the method has been handled uh, we have to to make sure that we open camera instead of the activity so let's go over here and that that x scanner s e n l e r yeah, scanner view we have a scanner view right so a scanner view and let's go over here and scanner view equals to new data access. view and this will be on this activity so let's close it and we don't want to open this r dot out this activity we want to open scanner view camera okay that means now the camera has been opened now we have to handle the request after we scan it what are we gonna do so once we opened it main activity main activity dot we're gonna show it to a result text view right I just told you we're gonna show it in the front and if it was not if this was not what you got, if this was not public static We will not be able to get the result. Say RES, I could not get it. But once I put it back to a public static, I should be able to get it. Result text view. Many activity dot result text view. Once we've done that, and we have to set text, set, set text, and that will be the result. What's the result? Our result is a result. This one should be same as this one. And dot get text once we have done we'll be able to send it okay we handle the request once we handle the request we have to get two method again one will be on pause and another will be on post resume or resume anyone you can put it but okay now press the control and o button you will be able to select the override methods and it's control and O in a Mac and it should be Alt Control and the click or oh no Alt Control and insert. Once you see that you will be able to see select a method and from the method you can choose it in the Windows computer. So select method and we're gonna use on pause on P A U on pause file. If you cannot find that just 
slowly copy it, the same thing it will work and super on pause and this time if there's a problem we're just gonna stop the camera stop the camera okay once this went down we have to again work on the resume so on push resume okay on resume we have to get two things the the on the at the top we got some permission right we have to get the permission to use the camera so let's open it over here so if if context context compared to check check self permission and the get application context from where this manifest we get that from the manifest you know that the at the top manifest and manifest, manifest and then we get that permission that camera and once this is done if it's not equals to Package manager. Oh, sorry, that's not the right thing. Package. Package manager. Did. Permission granted. Once the permission grant granted, just close it. Okay, what are we gonna do once the permission been granted? So, uh, oh, there's some kind of mistake. Let me see. What's the wrong? Context context information and get application context from the manifest or permission that camera is not equal to packet manager. This will be okay. Yes. I expected this. Oh, there's the problem. We use too many. Okay, now that's good. Okay, once it's been granted, what are we gonna do? We're gonna we can request permission, and that will be. This new and string. So from here we will gonna be oops, sorry. And that will be manifest. Manifest at permission dot camera once this went down okay I'll put it down so that you can see it easily okay once we get it I wrote it over here because I want to resume it and to get the permission granted. We can do it directly from the manifest. I did it over here too to give the permission to use the camera, but sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it asks, and sometimes you have to put it over here too. But if you don't want to use it and if you want to check it, just you can just try the on post resume and without writing this if condition, without writing this if condition, you can just write over here the line I'm going to write it. So. Once everything is done, 
not okay yeah, that's from the foundation once everything is done we can scan or that's the smallest scanner view dot set result handler what will be the result handler on this one this and scanner view dot start sta that's one once after we get the permission once you get the permission we can start it okay mm, everything is done now this should work now. if you want to use your phones if you want to use your phone the android emulator and you want to use your webcam to get the camera view what you can do is go to open avd manager open avd manager and that's my emulator right now click on the pencil button and go to advanced setting so advanced setting and in a portrait mode see webcam zero and the black mode webcam zero and you have to just make it finish emulator to the camera now let's run the project and before that i'll tell you i changed the scanner barcode to a dawn only because the, the subscribe my channel was a little bit bigger i thought so i'll change it over here in my phone and okay it's readily complete now scan the barcode let's scan the barcode and it opened my camera okay the dawn has been done see you see the dawn over here the same thing that was in my barcode now let's press it okay the dawn i was able to toast it to I did this toast because like once we scan the barcode we, sometimes we want to put it to a database and we want to send it uh, send it back so with this button on click listener we'll be able to click it and then with the result view that get text you'll be able to get the same text you got to scan it now let's change it again if you want to check it again and if you change it it should work um, instead of done I would like to do the different one let's do the number check it for number okay now I scan the scan it for number I run my project launching activity scan the barcode okay here comes the number we're able to do it now if you uh, click the toasted it gonna toast it if you want to show the barcode over here you can show it thank you so much for watching and i'll post this code at a github so you can download my code from github thank you so much see you next time